We have greatly improved the customer area of the sales screen, and I'm really excited to show you these new features. Especially if you're a business that has a membership business model, so if you're selling memberships or if you actually have waivers, uh, we've made significant improvements. So let me go ahead and pull up a customer. And you'll immediately see that we've changed the layout and improved things tremendously. You'll see the picture of the customer right on the right side. Uh, I've got the name, we changed the font so it's much bigger. Of course, you can still click the customer name and I'll show you all of the previous purchases for that customer. Uh, in this case, the customer is actually a member. And you'll notice that right on the right side, below the balance, we show whether they have a waiver on file. Now, if I hover over the waiver, it will show me when that waiver expires. The really neat feature is that we are actually using colors to indicate whether the waiver is valid or if it's almost expiring, the color will change to orange and if it's expired, the color will change to red. Now we've done the same thing with our memberships. You'll see this particular customer has two memberships. One has expired and if I hover over it, you'll see the expiration date. You'll also see since when that particular customer has been a member. And the second membership is about to expire. So it expires October 31st, 2021, which is in within one month of when I'm pulling up this customer. So therefore it changes the color to orange. Now below the customer information, we change some things to make it really more balanced and easier for users uh, to be able to identify what the uh, shortcuts and buttons were. Uh, we had a couple of buttons that were really tiny, uh, which made it difficult to use them on a touch screen. So what we did was we changed the layout here. You'll see we also changed some of the verbiage. Uh, what used to be called delivery, we've changed to shipping slash pickup. And this screen allows you to still deliver an item. Most customers are actually shipping items these days. And this is where you can enter uh, the shipping information for this particular transaction. I can toggle the email receipt or the SMS. SMS receipt is for texting uh, customer their receipt. And those are just toggles. If you don't see uh, the SMS receipt, it probably means you don't have uh, SMS set up in Core Store, and we can obviously help you with that if you just contact our support department. I've got the ability to edit the customer information, and I also have the ability to remove this customer from the current transaction. Previously, we had a button that said detach, so we felt that remove customer is a little easier. Again, you're not deleting the customer, it's simply removing them from the uh, current sale. All right, right below the customer information is actually where you would choose the salesperson for this particular transaction. The salesperson, if you don't see that field, you can, and you need to actually choose a salesperson. Again, this only relates to an environment where you have someone that may be completing the transaction that's different from the person that you pay commission to. So there is a, re a require salesperson option in the store configuration under the sales section. Again, what we did here, it was a big drop down and if you had a lot of employees, it would get pretty daunting to try to find your salesperson. We changed it to a much more intelligent drop down so I can just click it and start typing in someone's name and just hit enter and it will find that salesperson. One more exciting change that I want to point to is that we moved the membership events and scheduler buttons right to the top right of the screen and they're showing at all times. So previously you had to click on show grid in order for those buttons to show up, but we actually moved them made them permanent so it's very easy to access if you do have memberships set up. Now again, your memberships are set up using Core Force, so it isn't part of Core Store. 
any customer interested in finding out more information about CoreForce, please let us know. But basically, you can access your memberships right from the sales screen. You can look at your events and classes. And finally, you can pull up your scheduler. If you do use a scheduler, uh, if you've got classes or if you've got uh, firearms gun range, you can use the Core Force system to set it all up, and then you can access it directly from Core Store. Thanks for watching this video, and please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for additional videos and more exciting news. Thanks so much.